this is your finished matchbox. You can open it to see the matches. You can open it quite wide, actually. And you can close it again. We're going to start with a 3x1 sheet of paper. And I've done some pre-creasing here already, so let me explain. There is a mountain fold here, which gives you a square. So this is one third of the length of the paper. And then there is a valley fold here, which is uh, makes another square. Okay, so you've got your three squares, and these two squares you're going to have with a valley folded. And then lengthwise you're going to do fourths. So the half is a valley fold, and the fourths are a mountain folds. And what we're going to do then is the first square we're going to mountain fold back. And then you're going to take this tip and you're going to fold it so this paper aligns with the mountain folded, which is located at one fourth. And you do that on the other side too. And now you're going to go along this mountain fold just on the top layer of paper. So the bottom you're going to leave the same. So you're going to fold that, and while doing so, you're going to have some paper going inside. So you get this. Once you've done that, you're going to turn the paper around, and you're going to take this edge, and you're going to fold it up so that it aligns with these two points you put there. And then along there, you're going to fill it back again. And then you turn the paper back around. So just along here, you can see you've kind of got a line in the back. And right along there, you're going to fold this paper in the valley fold. Now what you're going to do is you're going to bring this edge to that edge over there. And by doing that, you're going to do half of one of these halves, so basically a fourth of this. Fold that the whole length through. And you do the same thing on the other side. Next, we're going to make a mountain fold which has this section. So, you bring this crease to align this line. Like so. And then you're going to do a value fold along this existing crease. So this is what you get. Then we're going to fold a valley fold just around here. And unfold that again. And then on here, you're going to reverse a bit of paper. Um, if you want a precise measure, it's got to be a, a twelfth of this length, but other than that, you just take a bit. I never actually do it precisely. These are going to be the tips of the matches of the matchbox, so you can get a feeling for what you want. Okay, so I do a valley fold, and then I reverse the paper. 
So you just open this up a bit. And then you fold it around. You just have to be careful on the edges, not the rest of the paper. And then once you've got the edges, the rest is nice and easy. So there you've got that. Okay? So next, what you're going to do is this edge, you're going to fold up to that crease you made, that bunny fold. Like so. And then you can see that here, this paper you just folded, it's not quite all the way up to here. And we're going to fold it back such that the crease you're making is in line with this, okay? And then you're going to unfold all of that again and turn the paper around like this. So you've got all the red over here. And now you can see we've created a couple of creases. There's a knot fold, a valley fold, a valley fold, another valley fold, a mountain fold, a valley mountain, and a valley fold. Okay, so now we can start collapsing. So what we're going to do is, first of all, we're going to have valley folds along here. Let's reinforce those a bit. And we're going to have mountain folds up here. And to make that work, we have to do a diagonal fold right on that first square. What you have to do is on this small square a diagonal mountain fold and on here again and then you can push the sides up like so okay and you can fold that in all the way and then just along that line you're going to mountain fold it inside and push this inside so it's along that edge here, okay? And then you're going to take this paper and you're going to fold it up in a valley fold, like so. So here you're doing a diagonal fold, okay? Just bringing this paper up, like so. So you have like a long open box kind of. Next we're going to um, shape the second end of the box and you can see we've got a valley fold here which aligns like the red here and we're going to fold that up and if you can see from the side you want to shape a box so what you need is a diagonal fold. So if you pre-crease it like this you can see you're doing a valley fold right on this square here, okay? Here there is a square. And you want that to be a mountain fold though, so you kind of fold it inside. Like so. So you've got a fold here, and that on the other side too. 